So what's going on with the Olive video editor? Any updates, announcements, or any changes made? Well, more than you know. Now I know that some of you really like the Olive editor like a lot and have drawn comparisons to even Premiere Pro, but that was a while ago. So what has changed? Well, for starters, when you go to the website, you will notice that everything still seems the same. And that's because it is. Olive 0.2 is still unstable and experimental. And Olive 0.1, although stable, is still unsupported. But if you go to the downloads section for each of the versions, you can see when it was last updated, which was pretty recently. And for my Mac users, Olive has now included an Apple Silicon version for those M1 chips, which is pretty cool. However, if you do try to install it, you'll get a warning sign and it will not open the program unless if you figure out a way to bypass it. But this video is not meant to bash or discourage the team behind Olive. I actually want to support them and bring some awareness to what's going on. So these are three points that I want to bring up. So it's important to realize what the Olive team is actually doing here. Now, by no means am I saying that they're the only ones doing this, but they have been super open about the process of building a functioning video editing software, which is still under development and open to the public in the forms of posting on Twitter and Reddit. We basically have the opportunity of giving them real-time feedback to help mold what this editor should look like. And many are fans of this approach, considering that Olive is an open source, non-linear editor. So having that in mind and just having a little patience can go a long way. This point is what I consider to be the main source for the situation around Olive. I've been looking around the website and Twitter profile, and I came around Olive's Patreon page, which has a lot of explanation for what's been going on. They've been giving consistent updates around each month about the editing program and some personal things that they're facing with, such as health, family obligations, and general time constraints that are obstacles in the development of Olive, which is totally understandable. Taking part of a project this big, at the same time handling other things, can be quite a task. So if you want to to know how you can help or just want to understand the main reason for the delay, this is it. Before we move on to the next point, I want to give you the opportunity to try out an amazing service that will help you take your videos to the next level. Artlist. They are a music and audio licensing platform that you can use for your own videos. They have a variety of music and sound effects, all royalty free, and I've been using them for all of my videos. And you can too by signing up with my link in the description and get an additional two months free. So thank you to Artlist for partnering up with the channel. Now this segment is just me giving some tips to the Olive team. First off, I would suggest making a YouTube channel. Now it's easier said than done since it does take time off the development of the editing software itself, but you do potentially create another opportunity for creating awareness for Olive and a stronger community. Besides that, if the content is solid and consistent, the channel can grow and become another source of revenue, which is nice to have. Another tip is to look at what's working. I mean, don't get me wrong, we all like to see innovating things when it comes to editing tools, but there's no need to reinvent the wheel here. Just listen to what your community has to say. So hopefully this has helped you understand the situation a little better, and if the Olive team is watching this, all I gotta say is that you have a lot of people rooting for you. Okay, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.